Limitless. What up? It's your boy T Brown Reaction. In case you know what a lot of the setting's different. I'm in vacation with the wife again. This is for my birthday weekend. Alright, she's looking at me smiling. So anyway, um and the DJ Expo, I just want to catch the ex, the last exhibition of the DJ Expo for us. Well, she surprised me with that. But yeah, got a couple, oh, not a lot, but I got a new um, equipment, though. I will premiere once I get back to um, home side. But anyway, so the homie Keith Lee then released a new video talking about what, what's been going on between January and now on. All right. Oh, sorry. I just started. Oh, okay. Trying to, sorry about that, folks. I was trying to. Wait for just to not start, but it'll start anyway. But um, yeah, I guess he's gonna explain why he's his hiatus from in January into the end of January now. Though where folks was like, believe he might got released. Folks me believe there's been some issue right there. So the big guy talks about it. So I gotta check it is out. So I further do. Let's see what Mister Keith Lee had to say about what's been going on with him. Let me make sure everything's up first. All right, so um, obviously I've been a busy bee, um, but uh, I said that for those who took the time to care for me, that I was going to make this, you know, just information for you guys, something to share, because uh, I've always kind of been that way, um, open for the most part. So, um, the first time I tried to record this, it turned out to be like 13 minutes. So we're going to try oh, shit. <laughs> and reduce some of that this time. Yeah, um, definitely when you, you want to record. So let's talk about time since January. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's get this knocked out. So as some of you know, toward the end of January, I missed about three weeks on TV. Uh, at that time I had contracted COVID. Mm-hmm. And actually, before I continue, let me go ahead and point out something because I did see some disturbing and uh, just rude remarks toward me a.m. Um, some stating that it was her fault that I was gone uh -huh. and some stating oh, wow. that she gave me COVID and what have you. Let me go ahead and clear that up right now. Um, that needs to be clear. Were it not for her, I don't know how things would have gone to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. I contracted COVID. She did not. Oh. Um, actually, for like three weeks. And the only reason that she did contract it was because she refused to not be there and take care of me. Oh. And unfortunately, that ended up costing her an opportunity in the Royal Rumble. Mm. Yeah, um, I wanted to see that. But that was a chance she was willing to take. So... You know, I, at the end of the day, I'm grateful to her, um, and it's unfortunate that some of you are ungrateful because, mm, yeah, folks, the reality is there's no telling how things would have gone without her. Yeah, it's the thing about fans, though. Like, fans, got it. They, they do too much. I won't say that. They do too much sometimes, you know. They, I mean, they, they got to know that these wrestlers are just as much human beings as them so they gotta like fall back sometimes with the comments like I swear dudes are so confident comf comfortable being a-holes anyway assistance so uh after that i came back for one match against mr riddle mm -hmm. and i believe that was february 8th and then the next day, I got a call saying that there was something off in my blood. Oh. Um, some people may have experienced this thing where there's like an inflammation in the heart or lungs. For me, it was the heart. And, um, you know, that led to very scary times. I was basically forbidden from training or any activity outside of a light walk. So, um, there was a fear that doing more than that, that there was a chance that I could just up and pass away. Yeah. Oh. So, um, 
for three or four months this was kind of the case and I had several MRIs on my heart by the way I don't fit in those machines it was terrible mm. and my shoulders really struggled with that but yeah it's yeah, health before wealth is always important no matter what it is you know what I'm saying whether it's physical internal mental that's always got to come first regardless though good good that good he couldn't hey took care of that stuff having to try to bypass this this far entertainment glad he uh you know took care of that but, um we had to do what we had to do right so this became a fight uh against death so to speak mm. and it took up until um, the company sent me to Pittsburgh to get looked at. I got, I got touch me. And man. it was to the point where I was about to have to undergo genetic testing and all sorts of things because it was thought that there was a potential I could have a heart disease of sorts. Mm. Very fortunately, even though it took a long time, we waited that amount of time for that allowed the inflammation in my heart to eventually go down um, to normal. So um, even though the first MRI was bad and the second one was worse, over time, things got better here and there. And eventually after that visit, I was cleared to try and get back into some sort of shape. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where the real struggle is yeah that's but, that can be um, a struggle I'm struggling with that too trying to get in shape yeah it took it took some time and to be honest it wasn't even certain that I was going to show up in Dallas in terms of on TV Ooh. so um, well that was a good surprise yeah, for the people that cared I greatly appreciate you and um, you guys mean a lot more than you know some of you even more than that Mr. Casey you're one of them for certain. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, I don't really know what's next, right? Um, the idea for me is I fought the battle that mattered the most, and I'm healthy. And at the end of the day, that's all I can really ask for. That's all my family can ask for. Um, and now we fight to make the most of what we can do in this industry and yes. and, and um, just move forward. You know what I always say? Forward mm -hmm. march. The grind continues. It's forever. We fought death. I don't mind fighting anybody else. So Indeed. We move forward. And guess we continue to show exactly what it means to be limitless yeah yes indeed till then stay up people nice 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 good to know that he's doing good everything and glad and glad he's back in dirty you know what i'm saying there's the rumors with him my plaza got released or getting released or anything I'm glad it was so true that guy was so um false and everything it wasn't true and he came back and i mean he had his little back and forth with karen cross and everything went, went good proved that he's the worst thing still Whew. and not being um and not being buried as folks are trying to say and i mean hopefully we see more from him going forward and raw or if another shakeup comes through and he's uh getting moved to elsewhere like smackdown or back to nxc Either way, I'm glad to see him back in WWE. Just hopefully can't wait to see uh hopefully Mia be back pretty soon as well too. Other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe on your channel. It's your boy T Burst signing off. One love.